greetings in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Trust you are doing well. Welcome to September. We are still uh, in the uh, first week of September. I prophesy over your life that there will be an increase of everything that God has promised that He will give it to you. And I believe that we are already in a new season and we are walking in it. And uh, you, 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 you can face Goliath, you can face spiritual warfare, but you are going to walk out free. And today, I'm going to minister to you um, in a very, uh, in a short sermon, in a short story, uh, that God will bless you and uh, this will inspire you further. So, uh, let's see the book of Judges today. In the book of Judges, chapter 15, I was inspired by uh, one of our church pastors to minister uh, this word today. Uh, as he was sharing on the last part of his sermon Sunday, God also gave me some revelatory words and I would like to share with you. Uh, if you're ready, may God bless you, all right? Judges chapter 15, we see a story of Samson here. Samson, Samson is showing his vengeance to the Philistines. Samson is right now showing its vengeance. Now, out of this vengeance, something good is also taking place that I'm going to minister to you prophetically just the next 10 to 15 minutes only, all right? So just be glued to this uh, video that the Holy Spirit will inspire you. Probably you are going through something like this, Samson, and God is going to deliver you, all right? The Word of the Lord is always the best medicine for our spiritual, physical, and mental health, all right? So uh, in Judges chapter 15, we see that uh, something is happening in the family of uh, Samson. And uh, as a result, he gets very angry and uh, he, he wants to destroy the vineyards of this Philistine. So what he did was to tie the tails of the fork and uh, just make it run with fire and to destroy. All right, so now the Philistines got very angry and they came up looking for Samson. So Samson was hiding somewhere uh, in Judah, all right? So the Judeans right now know where Samson was hiding. So 3,000 people, 3,000 people from Judah, all right? They went to look out for Samson. And they met Samson and they said, what did you do? Don't you know that we are under them? So Samson said, uh, they deserve this. What they did to me, I'm going to do that back. I did uh, the same thing back to them. So, but the, the man told Samson that we're going to tie you and we're going to hand you over to the Philistines, but we will never kill you, all right? Because Samson said that, don't kill me, all right? You can hand over to me, but don't kill me. So this is the same thing of what is written to place, all right? So he was handed over to the Philistines. But before that, I see the word uh, over here that this man... Uh, bound him with two new ropes. Two new ropes. Are you someone who is being tied with new problems, new sicknesses, new addiction, new trouble? Are you someone who is listening right now that the devil has tied your hands that you cannot move. Are you someone who is listening here today that you have nowhere to go because you have been chained to some unwanted things? Are you being chained or new ropes, new troubles, new problems have come into your life? All these years, you are okay you are just with some old ropes and you are getting over it. But are you someone recently that the devil has tied you with something new? And this new is not from God. This new is from the devil. Are you being troubled? Are you being tortured? Are you in slavery over something? Is your mind being captured? by the evil ones? Are you having double-minded that makes you to be unstable? 
Now you are somebody that I'm ministering to today. New ropes. They tied Samson with new ropes. God is going to deliver you today at the end of the message. Are you being tied over new anger, new jealousy? Are you being tied over new depression, new rejection, new shame, new guilt, new condemnation, something new has come from the devil? Allow me to minister to you today. So, as they brought him to the Philistines, I see in verse 14, it says, As he approached Lehi, the Philistines came. As he was approaching the enemy's camp, the Philistines came. Some of you have left your position. Some of you have been captured out of your position and brought to the enemy's territory. Listen carefully, I'm preaching prophetically right now. This message is for people who can understand his word clearly, sharply, can move into the next extreme level to capture what I'm talking about, what the Holy Spirit is saying. Look here carefully, all right? He's being tied up, being brought out of the place where he was staying or hiding. The Bible says it was a rock. Rock means salvation. Rock means Jesus. But he came out. He was brought out of Jesus, tied with new ropes, new troubles, new problems, new chains. He became a new prisoner right now. He was brought to the camp of Philistines. And as he was approaching them, they came and started to shout at Samson. I repeat, the demons came and shouted at Samson. You know, the devil will come and shout at us through people, through media, through sources of the latest technology. The devil will come and shout together with his angels, together with his uh, fallen angels, demons that we call. He will come and shout. He will embarrass you. He will shame you. He will shout at you. That will make you to be silent. He will put you away. You see, Samson was already going through this problem. Unwanted, unnecessary problem, all right? In the family. Out of anger, he did this. So because of his anger, all these things that which I was mentioning took place. And right now, we see the Philistines came to Samson and started to shout. Is your sickness shouting at you? Is your financial difficulty shouting at you? Is your legal thing shouting at you? Is your marriage, your relationship shouting at you? Is something at your workplace shouting at you? Making you small. This is the work of the devil. This is the work of demons. You need deliverance. You need to come out. So what happened is that as they were shouting at Samson, I see uh, in the next sentence, the Spirit of the Lord came. He came upon him in power. The Spirit of the Lord came upon him with power. And the New Testament says, when the Spirit of God comes upon you, you shall receive power. The same thing in the book of Judges we see. The Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson in power. You got to have the power of God in your life. You got to have a power of God in your life to come out from your mess. You are not going to go back to the problems, to the sicknesses that you came from. You are not going to go, go, going to go back to poverty. 
you are not going to go back to the world because God has brought you out. Yes, Samson was with his new robes. We see the Philistines shouting at him. But Samson received the Spirit of the Lord upon him in power. The ropes on his hands dropped, the Bible says. When the Spirit of God comes upon you, you shall receive power. And when you receive God's heavenly power, the ropes which have tied your hands, tied your legs, shall be dropped in the name of Jesus. But you got to have the Spirit of God in you, brother, sister. When the Spirit of God is upon you, this power will come and make all chains, all captivity, all bondages, all ropes, all handcuffs shall be dropped. Isn't that beautiful today from the story of Samson? Yes. New ropes. The Lord said, could be new troubles, new problems. New things of the devil. We are praying for new things of God. But some people are being tied up with new ropes. But the Bible says when the Spirit of God came, these ropes were dropped. And after that we see finding a new jawbone. The Bible in NIV says, finding a fresh jawbone. I like this part in verse 15. This fresh jawbone represents fresh opportunity. Fresh means new. New opportunity. New career. New joy. New peace. New Strength, new happiness, new door. God is going to open up a new door in your life. And this door must be given by God. That's why when the ropes drop, God already placed a fresh donkey's jawbone there. God is already placed there. He was not looking for it or he was not even thinking about it. He saw it. He found a new jawbone. Today as I'm ministering to you, God has given you, God is giving you, God is going to give you a new door of opportunities, a new health, a new finance, a new joy, a new peace, new happiness. We live in the place where you are. God is going to give you a new opportunity in His kingdom. You got to look at it. You got to find it over there. It's just there. It's just there. God has already placed this in front of you. So the moment you have been unchained, the moment your ropes are dropped, God will open up your eyes to see this new opportunity, this new door, this new love, this new covenant, this new blood, it's a new man that God is changing you. So the Bible says that he found a fresh jawbone of a donkey. He grabbed it. Look at this. It's just placed here. He found a new door, a new opportunity, something new of God. It is his choice for him not to grab it or leave it. But over here in the Bible, Samson is filled by the Holy Spirit in power. He saw, he found. But the next sentence it says, he grabbed it. Today it is your time. It is up to you whether you want to take it or you want to leave it or you want to remain at the same place or at the usual place. It is up to you. But over here, I'm encouraging you when something new that God is showing you in your career, in your, in your life, in your ministry, 
within the same place if god really needs to take you out he will take you out all right but you don't force god to take you out now don't ever do that and end up in mess listen to the voice of god look up he will speak to you minister to you he will show you the right way samson grabbed the opportunity samson grabbed the new fresh jawbone and as he grabbed today i'm encouraging you to take it grab it in the name of the lord grab it and struck down a thousand men ha 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 the bible says he struck a thousand men not one two or even 5 10 15 20 or 100 or even 200 300 one man is struck down that means this new thing that god is about to do in your life if it's align i love the word alignment if it's align with heaven's decision not your own personal or your partner told you or your spouse said that go for it now there are many people who have ended up with new ropes after and after and after new season have come with new ropes you got to be aligned with the word of god aligned in the kingdom of god alignment spiritual alignment is very important in everybody's life he struck a thousand men he killed a thousand demons so for every fresh job born you can put off a thousand demons that's what i've learned today every fresh opportunity in your life you can put off thousand demons away the bible says in deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11 it says may the lord the god of your fathers increase you a thousand times and bless you as he has promised increase you a thousand times now if you are with the rope if you are being tied down you could not have experienced the deliverance because of the holy spirit which came in power samson was able to do what we are reading he took the fresh jawbone i'm prophesying of the fresh door fresh oil fresh opportunity in your life he grabbed that opportunity he grabbed that favor he grabbed that grace he grabbed it took it in his hands and he struck a thousand men wow isn't god beautiful showing us a revelatory through this passage god is going to increase you a thousand times i prophesy in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit is going to increase you a thousand times more and bless you as how he has promised you but there is a order here there is an order here that we can see you need the spirit of god the moment all these philistines were shouting the spirit of the lord came that's what we call heaven's favor it came upon with power all right never come just like that it is it is power that's why he was able to be a different person when the power came he found something in front of him he grabbed it if he had failed to take it he would have lost it but because he grabbed it and the spirit of god was on him he could demonstrate the power of god through the holy spirit and struck thousand men you are able to struck strike we call it a strike all right you are able every bad things comes you are able to strike them off cancel them off pastor is easy to preach very difficult to adopt what you are saying 
as i say spiritual alignment in the kingdom of god is important you must be aligned with the word of god aligned with god aligned with the current move of god align what god is saying align yourself spiritual alignment is important my dear brothers and sisters yes i'm experiencing the holy spirit even as i'm sharing in front of this camera i'm not a good camera preacher right i must be filled with the holy spirit before i share this revelation to you fresh job on grabbing it striking new door new opportunity new grace new favor new power take it and strike it isn't it so beautiful that we are also sometimes going through what samson went vengeance anger but out of this something good came out may god bless all of you as you are listening to this word i pray i prophesy declare and decree heavens increase of a thousand times more and bless you as he has promised to all the viewers all the listeners do share this video right this youtube channel to other people i'm sure the people who speak english uh, they can understand what i'm saying i speak simple english i believe that you can understand what i'm trying to say here with the word of god nothing else but the word of god life must be with the word of god yes as i was growing maybe probably i was not in the word i was just reading the word right now understanding what i read has become the way of life So may God bless every one of you in a very special and powerful way and give you the best of September. All right, let me pray for you. Heavenly gracious Father, I thank you Lord for this wonderful opportunity allowing me to share this word, share this passage out of the life of Samson. Yes Lord. Give everybody a lot the spirit of God in power. let it come upon us and let all our ropes dropped let all the ropes be dropped and lord allow us to see what you have kept in front of us make us to grab it a lord and strike every demons in the name of jesus strike off every troubles and problems sicknesses diseases yes lord and let us walk victoriously because of you in our lives bless every viewer so lord in a very special and powerful way let them enjoy all the days of their life even in this corona virus covid-19 time lord i pray that every believers every disciples of god will walk in freedom yes lord will come out of their mess let their minds their eyes which are closed be open as i'm praying right now thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit let everybody have a great weekend this week thank you lord in jesus name we pray amen god bless all of you uh, my dear loving brothers and sisters i want you to help me to share this video Uh, write a beautiful comment that will encourage all of us all right like it share it comment it all right and subscribe the channel uh, if you have not done so please do so and uh, may god bless this crown channel and all the next speakers who come here all right so thank you once again have a very good time <laughs>